Bradwell new employee induction. Okay, I'm gonna go get the elevators out of lockdown. But don't worry, I'll keep an eye on you. So, good luck. And, um, you're gonna be fine. Experience prepared. Dr. Sega, please enter to start your new journey. Alright, here we go. What's up, boys and girls? Welcome back to another episode of the Brad Bradwell Conspiracy. We're about to go through this door into induction. Keeping secrets today means a better world tomorrow. Or if that's necessarily true, but uh, I'll take your word for it. <clears throat> right, let's sit down, shall we? Press me to stand up. I hope you like cheese. Right. What you're about to see is... Hello, and welcome to the Breadwell Research and Development's new employee induction. At Breadwell, the difference is you. Pat yourself on the back. You are the best of the very best in your field. Oh, God, it's worse than I remembered. This, the R&D Amesbury, is Breadwell's newest facility. Your work here is classified and vital. Finding solutions to many modern-day issues for both Bradwell Electronics and the Bradwell Foundation. If the world needs it, we can make it happen here. Research and development is headed by Melissa Bradwell, daughter of John Bradwell, founder of Bradwell Electronics. Both father and daughter have worked tirelessly to effect positive change through technology. As an engineer here at Bradwell R&D Amesbury, your work will focus on a newly discovered revolutionary material. Bradwellium, more simply known as substance, is the next advancement in material sciences. Programmable matter. Bradwellium has already been fundamental in the development of a game-changing piece of technology. Oh, this is my... The Substance Mobile Printer, a device which allows for the instant fabrication of objects. Yes, matter transfiguration, no longer a thing of science fiction. The SMP uses substance to print any type of objects from digital blueprints created by engineers like yourself. We've put together a short, practical application test to give you first-hand experience with this revolutionary device and its applications. No turning back now. Time to leap into the weird world of material sciences. I'm gonna go unlock these elevators. For real this time. Exit to your right and proceed to the testing area. Right, what the fuck? Uh, just here? Also, also, is that the voice of Jonathan Roth? Is it Ross? I think it is. Uh, button right. Material sciences, here we go. For the creators of tomorrow, Bradwell presents the Substance Mobile Printer, or SMP for short. This is the latest prototype featuring the substance printing technology. Please take the SMP. All Let's right. learn how we reclaim an item made of substance and then print an identical copy into a new place. This is the gateway to your potential, and this is the key of determination. As the first step, please reclaim the key using the SMP. Reclaiming the key. Nice. The reclaiming procedure recycles the substance material and stores a digital blueprint of the item in your SMP library. As long as there is enough substance in the SMP, you can print as many copies as you like. In order to print, you need to activate the SMP printing mode. Uh, pressed, uh, the previews traffic light color scheme indicates if the SMP is able to print the item or not, or if more substance is required. Now, stay in printing mode, point the SMP to the keyhole in the gate, and move towards it. Oh, As here we go. As you can see, the SMP's advanced algorithms will suggest valid printing positions. Press the print button to print the key into the lock. Congratulations, you have unlocked the gateway to your potential. Please go to the next section. Oh, wow. All right. Um... <laughs> Welcome to Pretty Cats cool. or Dogs. Bradwell's fun and in no way judgmental personality test asks you kindly to print a total of six cats or dogs on the colored platform areas. We need at least one of each animal printed for our patented bias weighting. So pick and print. Shelly the cat and Troy the dog will do the rest. All right, shall we print? Well, this is a lock, giant lock. All right, can we open this up? Get everything out there. For security and copyright reasons, some substance items have their blueprints locked. Your guide interface will let you know if a substance item is locked. 
This is refined Bradwellium, or substance brick, ready to be reclaimed by the SMP. No blueprints from one of these, sadly. Can I not? Can I not make a blueprint of this? He reclaiming stuff? Well, how do I change the blueprints? Uh... Wait, no, that's not. Ah, what... Yes. So when you look at substance objects, your guide glasses will pop up some useful info. You'll see if the SMP is allowed to store the blueprint of an object and how many substance units you get by reclaiming it. Some objects are locked and you can't reclaim their substance. This gets you the blueprint and one substance unit. Okay. How do I... Please wait for instructions. This gets you the blueprint and one substance unit. What the hell? Wait, let me just check the controls again. What the hell is going on? Controls, bindings, please. Uh, reclaim, right? Yeah. Next blueprint. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I was doing. Mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down. But uh, substance modes. Hmm. Wait. Uh, reclaim. Yeah. Oh, it's the same. Right, mouse button. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Oh, here we go. Okay. These buttons weren't available before. Alright, here we go. Now I can just reclaim it. Got the blueprints. The SMP is able to store multiple blueprints. Change the active blueprint with the change blueprint button. There we go. Sky print. Your SMP can print onto most flat surfaces. For your well-being, the SMP decides if it is safe to print an object in a given location. Great progress! Only three more to print. Perfect. Well done for completing the Bradwell personality test. Go you. Want to know what's in your mind? Check out the screen nearby for the results of your personality test. Good luck on the next section. Troy gave an encouraging bark, and Shelley was, well, you know what cats are like. When you're ready, please go to the next section. You are someone who is focused on getting all the way to the top. As a problem solver, you are not afraid of any obstacles that are thrown your way. You speak in actions rather than words. You are easy to work with, easy to work with and your colleagues value your trust. Oh, thank you so much. I did try to achieve uh, neutrality here. Welcome to the Rotation Station, where things often go sideways. For this test, you simply need to recreate the pattern from the right panel. Where is the blueprint, I hear you ask? Bradwell R&D proudly presents the Blueprint Drive for securely storing blueprints. Collect the drive to add the blueprint to your SMP. All right. Well done. Now recreate the pattern on the wall to complete the test. To just... rotate the item, press the rotation button. Once you're oh, happy with the rotation, press the print button to print. Alright, make it like the other painting, I guess. There we go. Nice and if easy. You have trouble with... Well done! You have near-perfect rotational problem-solving skills. Near-perfect rotational problem-solving skills. Feel free to quote that on your favorite dating app. <laughs> Will do. What is happening? Oh, I guess this area. Welcome to the most important part of our induction experience. Bradwell R&D's Lifetime Unilateral Non-Disclosure Agreement. Use your SMP to create the circle of trust. By doing so, you agree to the Bradwell Non-Disclosure Agreement. Once the circle of trust has been established, the door to the path of knowledge and discovery will open itself to you. Warning. Irregularities in the NDA section detected. The use of the SMP is not recommended. Irregularities? Um, that doesn't sound good. If you're stuck, I'm here, just one photo click away. Irregularities? Let me see here. I'm not gonna read all of this, but... 
quickly glance through it. AI program the the vector. <laughs> okay. The door to the next section will only open if you agree to the Bradwell non-disclosure agreement. Bradwell's NDA is literally the writing on the wall. Yeah. Let me see here. Oh, that's not good. The <laughs> trust circles half buried. The system's not going to let you go ahead without doing that step. What else is around there? Uh, where else is around here? Hold up. Your hesitation to agree to the Bradwell NDA has been noted. If a picture is worth a thousand words, then this one would just be, huh? A thousand times over. Right, okay. So, where can I go from here? We have detected a major system malfunction with the circle of trust. But don't worry, the non-disclosure agreement is now legally binding. I'm telling you. Implementing the rotation of objects functionality was a total nerve irritation in the Alpha Sierra Sierra. So glad it's now working, with only a handful of remaining issues. I mean, uh, really sorry, but I don't get it. Not sure what you're asking me to write here. This? Hey, you're still in the NDA room. Everything okay? Or yeah. are you someone who actually reads these things? Anyway, send me a photo if you're stuck. I am stuck. Okay, I have to find a way to override D14 without you doing all the circle stuff. Right, D14. here we go. D14, where are you, D14? Induction control program, that's what we need. Is this taking a long time? Maybe it just feels that way, but... Oh, here it is. Ta-da! I have near-perfect door opening skills. Nice. Now, does that go in pros or cons on a dating profile? All right, back to these elevators for me. If you need me again for that door, just holler. Bradwell reserves the right to take all applicable and, if necessary, lethal steps in such circumstances. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Alright, here we go. Welcome to the Archive, where you'll find Bradwell's work and patents over the course of its 60-year history. Please, enjoy. The induction will continue through the next door. Hey, what's down here? The Archive. This. I guess. Circuit, circuits? Not sure. Anything else interesting around here? Envelopes. Nothing really of Please substance. proceed to the next area. Going, Jonathan Ross. I'm going. Welcome to the penultimate challenge. How do you feel? Sick of your voice. Fantastic. For your next <laughs> test, we have everyone's childhood favorite. The floor is lava. To cross, you will need to reclaim the specially designed traversal block. Spoilers, it's a plank. As you can see, the traversal block, like all substance objects, has incredible properties which may defy your understanding of physics. Please reclaim the traversal blocks. Uh, where are they? Oh. Oh no! If this were real lava, you would have died a horrible death. <laughs> but thanks to Bradwell patented lava tile screens, you can fail as much as you like. Although you can escape a fiery, agonizing death with Bradwell patented lava tile screens, you can't avoid judgment from Shelley and Troy for your failures. Well done. Now use the traversal blocks to cross over to the other side. Okay, oh, here we go. And remember, you can rotate substance objects with the SMP. I mean, I'm not trying to say you forgot. I just... Anyway, good luck crossing the lava. Thank you. All right, crossing the lava. Here we go. Oh, we need substance. Sorry. Uh, where am I gonna get the substance from? Wait, what? Okay, let's see if I can make it to the other side from here. Okay, cool. I can only have two of these. At Look at you, using the traversal block as intended. Doesn't it feel great? And don't forget, if it doesn't fit, rotate it. Nice. Get another two here.
Another successful crossing. Marvellous. You are so close. Falling into the lava now will be such a huge disappointment. Boy, and Shelly thinks <laughs> so too. Okay, final crossing. We go. Nice. Lovely job. Well done. You are now safe. Bradwell Electronics has had an exciting and, other than a brief period after the singing toaster incident, noble past. Every Bradwell employee should know and take pride in Bradwell's history. Your final task is to connect to the past in order to step into the future. Hey, the SMP's rotation functionality could be super useful in this section. You know, just throwing it out there. Okay, cool. Thank you for throwing that out there. What's this? Bradwell's R&D. John Bradwell was the man who loved the, to innovate. Eliza was the person who made those innovations possible. In 1995, Everyone she... knows about Bradwell Electronics, but sometimes we do get applicants who lie about their knowledge of Bradwell products. Not you, right? Not me. Uh, she created a, an entire company dedicated to it. Bradwell Research and Development, her aspiring leadership and creative work environments meant that Bradwell R&D could ensure Bradwell Electronics remains market leader. Okay, so what can I do here? Let's just reclaim the, everything here. Fun fact, Bradwell's history is such common knowledge that no search engine bothers storing it. Yeah, I guess I can't reclaim these ones though. Uh, what's it say about these? Uh, first major project released was the Bradwell Color Television. This product brought the Bradwell name into homes around the UK and then the world. It's simply an efficient production meant saving were savings were able to pa be passed on to the customers. This made color television an affordable prospect for people with more meager incomes. Don't worry if you're stuck. We have all the time in the world. Food supplies, however, are limited. Uh, subsidiary companies that ensure the Bradwell family's place in the history books and the top of newspaper rich lists. Therefore, both John and Eliza decided to create a charity where they could give back. Bradwell Foundation was born and its focus was giving people the tools to build a better, brighter future. Uh, what's this? It was discovered... Oh, okay, we heard about that. And we have some computers as well. Shelley and Troy believe in you! Uh, for now. Uh, we're able to spearhead plans to take personal computers into the home. Eliza's architecture for the bad role. Computer secured her place among the great pioneers of early home computing, and the Bradwell computer became one of the first successful mass produced home computers. Nice. Alright, so here we go. What can I do here? Oh, we just have to rotate. If you pretend not to know Bradwell's history, then you can also solve the puzzle by the power of deduction. Okay. I have to get these linked somehow. I would guess. Into this one here. Coming out of this one. Yeah, I think it starts here. So, Alright. Get the panels out. We rotate them. Yeah. Nice. Now we just need. Uh, let's see. How Shelly many? and Troy have moved on, by the way, but you, well, you're still here. Okay. Connect these two as well. Uh, where else do I have? I have tiles, do I? It's just these two, okay. Place one here. Place another one here. Another one here in the middle. Uh, nope. These bad boys. Everyone knows about Bradwell okay, Electronics. But Her. sometimes we do get applicants who lie about their knowledge of Bradwell products. Not you, right? Not me. Uh, is that it? I guess not. Didn't seem to be... Hmm. Alright, hold up. Hmm, doesn't look right. Double check the order you've connected the objects in. Oh, do I have to connect them? Oh, okay, in this order. Okay, okay, I get it. All right. Let me just reclaim all these back. Fun fact, Bradwell's history is such common knowledge that no search engine bothers storing it. All right, so first, gotta be this, uh, looks like a camera thing. All right, so, uh, no, get the other one. Boom, okay. Connect that one first, and then to the telly, and that. 
that to the other one there. Don't worry if you're stuck. We have all Oops. the time in the world. Food supplies, however, are limited. Uh, gotta go all the way here. Okay, perfect. Now we need to connect that bam bam, right? Yep, I think so. Okay. Shelly and Troy believe in you. And for now. I'm doing it. Where is it? Here we go. Ta da! And now to the finish line, I guess. Yeah, because we got still two units. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Is this not it? Connected with this one? If you pretend not to know Bradwell's history, then you can also solve the puzzle by the power of deduction. Yeah? How do I eat? <laughs> Alright, done. Ah, the timeline puzzle. A classic. <laughs> it's basically playing dot to dot. Yeah. So, what came first? The Brutalist building? Or the other Brutalist building. The dates you need should be in that room. I don't remember them all off the top of my head. Oh, they mixed up as well. Oh my god. I thought it was in straight order. I didn't even check the numbers. Oh my god. I'm so sorry about that, guys. Alright, so the first one Shelley would be and the... Shelly and Troy have moved on, by the way. But you, well, you're still here. Television here. Oh god. Alright. Well, this didn't make any sense. Okay, so... Okay, first television, then... Uh... Everyone knows about Bradwell Electronics, but sometimes we do get applicants who lie about their Computer. knowledge of Bradwell products. Not you, right? 97.95, now yes, this one. Place that one here. Oh my god, stuck at this puzzle for uh, way too long already. Please, bam, bam, turn. Um, here we go. Finally. Well done. Sweet. Onwards to the final room. Oh, sorry, that took a bit longer than uh, expected, but uh, hey. Who's counting? Congratulations, Doctor Sega, and welcome Thank to you. the Breadwell family. Some employees found that the cat chose them and not the other way around. Either way. Congratulations. You've shown Thank that you. you have the knowledge, the skills, and most importantly, the loyalty to contribute to Bradwell R&D and help secure the world's future. Now, head to clean water and energy research via the lifts in the security office. Your Bradwell buddy, Dr. Chowdhury, will meet you in her office to complete your induction experience. Please note, exit door is inaccessible due to unforeseen circumstances. Guess we'll have to find you a detour. I'll just go up here. Yeah. Find a detour. That was pretty cool to use the tests, actually. Uh, but I did suck in some of them. Alright, let me get the thing out. Oh, uh, where's the... Here we go. Rotate this. Perfect. Send this one back. Okay. Climb the other one back. There we go. Perfect. God. Uh, I guess we have to... Yeah. I'm going to write a children's book about this escapade when I retire from my career in tech. I'll reimagine you as a penguin, though. No offense, but you always need an animal in a children's book. Very true. Can we close this door again? The door? No problem. I can do that for you. Oh, thank you. All right. Uh, where shall I go? Wait. What's in here, to be honest? Recruitment. What's all this? People of interest map. Prospective employees of Bradwell R&D. Pretty cool. There. Lives of flamingos? 
Must be interesting. <laughs> Always on one foot. Always up to no goods. Let's see. Anything else in these drawers? Doesn't appear so. I'll just move forward then? I guess so. Eddie Yu, Angie Silvers. Hmm. Okay, alright, let's leave this place. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, I can't huh. touch it. Just found a guide taped to the bottom of a flower pot. It's useless though, because someone watered the flower. Alright, close this one for me, please. Okay, sure. Accessing the door controls. Perfect. Hey, good news. Elevators are up. And they're down. They're working again, is what I'm saying. And, <laughs> okay. and, and, I also found a way for you to get there. There's a vent entrance in the big map room, which should lead you directly back out to the atrium. Uh, it looks like we're in the finance room. Uh, task added, find vent in map room. Okay. Currently in the finance one. Where... The money making decisions get made. I don't know. <laughs> Not very a finance type of guy. Uh, let me see here. What's this? Uh, must go out today. Okay. Right. Oh, there's a big old map here. This could this be the map room? Oh, there's a vent as well. Yep. Surely is. Let me just check what was the other room. Isn't there one? Yeah, there was another one. Yeah. Right there. Let me just check what's this one. Fulfill fulfillment and distribution. Like logistics? Everyone has a different book. Chateau in the night. Next time we hang out, let's just get sushi instead, okay? Uh, sounds like a plan. Uh, mail processing guidelines. Uh, lettering, incoming letter. Redact any questions or information relating to Bradwell R&D projects and information that could be trying to malign the Bradwell family or any of their companies. What's going on? What's this sound? Sounds like there's a phone vibrating. Anyways, outgoing letter, mentions of Bradwell projects of Bradwellium substance, anything that could be considered a coded message must be reported right away. Incoming parcel, check for restricted items, outgoing, any Stonehenge or Innsbury's related materials. Okay. Thing here, there's nothing in these drawers though, I don't know why I keep trying. This is one of these guys, I can't really, I can't interact with it, that would be cool. Great Britain mail, oh, what's this? Dear, it's very hard to read. Dear, dearest Daryl, how is... How's it going, honey? Your father and I are currently nearing the end of our Nordic cruise, and thoughts we check in. It was a real shame we couldn't new join building. us. Some of it sure is dusty. Join us, hun. You'll uh, have, you'd you'd have loved it. I know they banned fossil fuel cars this year. The cities are so quiet. Real nice. You should really try and get some time off and come visit us sometimes. All our love, mom and dad. Pretty cool. All right. I mean, no, not that interesting, but okay. Some family on vacation. Alright, let's uh, get into this vent, shall we? Exit through the vent, okay. Hey, more good news. Got myself some sweet access permissions for water and energy research. We should be all set now. I was wondering if those were my footsteps or not. Uh, are we dropping here? Uh, yeah, we are. Okay. Uh, left or right? Left. Go up here first. Uh, 
Oh, I'm on the other... Wait. Am I on the other side? I guess this is the same. It's just a loop. Alright. That was a bit weird. Wait. What? What the... Oh, it's just one big loop. What the fuck? You know I wanted to be a detective when I was a kid? I thought it'd be really cool collecting clues and stuff. I ended up working in an underground science facility, so I didn't do too badly. Okay, here we go. Otherwise, I'll just be going around in circles. Well, congrats. You're out of induction and with one of Bradwell's oh. greatest inventions in your hands. Don't break it. The paperwork would kill you. Anyway, head to the elevators in the security area. I've got elevators to check out myself. Elevators in the security area. Security is that way, so let's hit it. Can I really make my way across now, or...? Uh, like everything's still... No. Ah, no good. Time to go around the problem instead of facing it head on. Very British. Yeah. Wasn't the window trashed? Maybe that's your way in. What window? Which window, lady? Wait, let me see if I can find it. Oh, can I make my way across here? I think I can. I got the uh, thingy magic. This one. Ooh. Okay. And these traversal blocks are really saved my life here. Right? Yeah. Go. Oh. Their book. Order for the Marquis. Not sure what that one that one could be possibly about. But anyways, looks like we traversed safely and we're what does that say? I found the mother load Creator a food storage freezer and no power. So right, for the stairs much here. ice cream. Uh here we go, the window is busted. We get the uh, one more. Perfect. Can I get this back? Get the other one back as well. Cool. Sweet. We're in. Hey, just stepping into an elevator, but don't worry. Our guides should still keep us connected. See you down in clean water and energy research. All right. Hope the lifts are still working, though. I mean, uh, you say that, but uh, are they fully operational? You know, in case of uh, earthquakes, you shouldn't use the lifts. It was an explosion, but uh, I guess same principle applies. Checking these drawers, I, like I got OCD or something. What the hell? Okay. Cameras all offline, except for a couple ones. That doesn't really help me out. Oh, what's this? Sunday timetable. Security meeting, museum uh, security ahead of party, usual Bradwell R&D security, escort Melissa Bradwell, court John Bradwell, chance of evacuation events high. So oh, I guess they kind of knew about it? Hmm. Okay. Uh... Where's this lift? Oh. We have to go through security. There is so much ventilation in this place. Luckily, you get used to the constant hum. I can't hear any hum. Files here I can read. Personal objects I can take. I guess not. Where is everyone? 